Shalom, giving all glory, honor, and praise unto Yahweh, Baha Sum, Yahweh Sai, Baha Sum, Rakakwadas. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father in the Paleo Hebrew tongue. All right, Yahweh Sai is his only begotten son. All right, Baha Sum, all right, in the name. So we come in the name of Yahweh, all right, all right, Baha Sum, all right, Yahweh Sai, in the name of Yahweh Sai, all right, and Baha Sum, Rakakwadas, the Holy Spirit. All right, so you come to the Heavenly Father, you got to come in the name of Yahweh Shai and in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, double honors are due unto the venerable apostles, the great millstone, who rule and teach well. Salutations, peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there laboring in sound doctrine, doing the work of the Lord, singing a new song on the highways and hedges throughout the four corners of the earth, on down to all those among Israel who have believed our report, the men, women, and children, believers. They too are going to be delivered out of this coming destruction. All right, Israel in the earth today is you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Latinos, Native Americans, and you Israelite foreigners, the speckled birds. You are the true Israelites, according to the Holy Bible. I'm Shamar Moth, and um, yeah, just uh, meditating. You know, today is a uh, Friday, April 7, 2023. Ha, these Christians out here talking about some good Friday shit. First of all, the Lord wouldn't put the ain't no Good Friday celebration. The Lord, the Lord never told you to observe something called Good Friday, and the Lord wasn't put to death on a uh, Friday. He was put to death on Passover. All right, you read the scriptures. It was the preparation day, man. All right. So, anyways, you know, another lesson for another time. But uh, I'm sitting in a Walmart parking lot right now, and um. These people are all, you know, all up in there getting their Easter hams and getting ready, you know, getting ready for Easter, man. You know, getting ready to commit, you know, gross idolatry, man. And and you Jakes, all right, you Israelites, all right, who were messing around with this, man, you know, you, you know, who are still following this Christian madness, you know, you better repent. Because hey, the Lord's coming back, man, and we in some serious times, serious times. All right. Now, uh, what I wanted to get into uh, was this situation. This, uh, something happened in Tennessee the other day um, where the, uh, some Republican House members or lawmakers, they want they they trying to expel some Democrats, man. All right. Now, you, the, the man you see right here in the white with the ponytail, Jake. All right. He was he's, you know. A lot of these Democrats are calling for an assault weapons ban. You know, they want to disarm the people. Okay. And uh, this Jake is one of them. This is Justin Jones. As a matter of fact, let me just, let me see if this will play off of CBS News. I mean, this is some civil war type shit right here, man. Where you got, you got, you know, this type of division, man. And this this place is sloppy. This place is, you know, woefully divided against itself, man. And 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 the Lord's clearly said, you know, a kingdom divided against itself can't stand. I was playing this damn commercial. Hold on, let me see if this will play. Thank you for joining us. We want to begin tonight with a political showdown in the state of Tennessee. It's getting national attention following the latest school shooting. Republicans tonight are voting to expel Democratic lawmakers from the Tennessee House of Representatives. This is an incredibly rare move in the volunteer state. In fact, it's only happened to eight lawmakers since the Civil War. And six of them were Confederate racists from the 19th century who refused to give former slaves citizenship. One was for a bribery conviction, and another lawmaker was. See, that's the spirit, man. I just I haven't watched this video. <clears throat> I didn't know what this woman was fixing to say, you know, with this report. But this is some, this is some civil war type shit, man. For real. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. There's not much more to this. Was kicked out for allegations of sexual misconduct. Well, today's reasoning 
disorderly behavior for leading chants with gun control protesters from the House floor. State Representative Justin Jones was the first to be expelled from his democratically elected position. He walked through a sea of supporters with his colleagues, Gloria Johnson and Justin Pearson, the Tennessee Three, as they are known. CBS's Mark Strassman is there in Nashville. We'll start us off tonight. What a day. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Nora. This debate was barbed and bitter for hours, but had a surprise twist. Republicans expelled two Democratic lawmakers, but spared one other involved in last week's disturbance. Hey, man, it's Babylon the Great is finished, man. There's going to, there's going to be a massive civil war in this so-called country. Okay? And it's going to be along political lines. You know, yeah, it's going to be along political lines. You know, the so-called Democrats, the so-called Republicans. <clears throat> it's like you. Um, but you know, it's going to be along racial lines. All right. Jacob and Esau. Okay. Esau being a so-called white man. All right. And he's ready to take you Israelites down, man. Okay. He's ready to take y'all out, man. All right. And these elites, all right. The super elite, the super wicked elites. All right. Now, Amalekites, the, the international banking families, they, they, they coming for your ammo and your weapons. Oh, we have the right to keep and bear arms. The Second Amendment. The Second Amendment is done, man. You ain't got no damn constitutional rights. They just had, they just hadn't told you sheeple yet. The, the the Constitution is, you, your Constitution went out the window on September 12, two thousand one. Okay, with the with 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 the Patriot Act, you got you got no constitutional rights. What's a night? You Americans are the dumbest people on planet Earth, man. I, I've been saying that for years, and it's just the truth, man. Y'all are stupid. Y'all are just stupid. <clears throat> you, you people are just stupid, man. <laughs> and you got this, this uh, circus, all right, this circus of a, a, an arraignment with DJ Trump, you know, <clears throat> um, which is all for show, and you know, and and as I say circus. It's, it's it's that bread and circus the elites, you know, throw at you. Here it is: the dollar's collapsed, not collapsing. The dollar is collapsed. Okay, there is no more dollar. All right, the petrol dollar is dead. The nations of the earth are tired of America. They're fleeing away from her. Okay, they're forming economic, economic, and military alliances with one another. And America's been being left out in the cold, man. Okay? But before the nukes come, before all that, you know, before this place is burned utterly with fire, there's going to be part of part of what's getting ready to happen is, is, again, a massive civil war, man. And these bubbas are ready for it, man. These bubbas out here, they are ready to come after you, Jakes. They ready to lynch you. They ready to take you to the woodshed, man. You know? <laughs> These Republicans, and, uh, lawmakers in, in Tennessee, all right, they they ready for you, man. They ready to take you out. Yeah, let me let me, uh, let me jump into some precepts. This ain't gonna be long at all, but this is a big part of Bible prophecy. You know, race war, race war, and it's gonna look crazy. You're gonna have foreign troops over here. You're gonna have militias. You know, patrol on the streets, you're going to have just gangs, you know, just out here looting. And, and it, so it's going to look, it's going to be crazy, man. And it's going to be the craziest over here in America, you know. And, then, and what it all boils down to is is, is, is over here in America anyway, it's going to be Jacob versus Esau. All right. And the Lord is fixing to let Esau whip a lot of you Jakes' ass, man. All right. F period. He's going to use his whipping because Esau is called a sword of the Lord. Esau is the Lord's whipping stick, man, to, to get on, to get at you rebellious two thirds, man. Those of you who don't want to repent, those of you who don't want to believe in the Lord, those of you who reject the, the law of central commandments, those of you who reject the Messiah. All right. And he, he, he's fixing to get on you, man. As a matter of fact, uh, let me start with that. You never know how the spirit's going to, uh, going to roll in, in some of these videos and this was a very impromptu i didn't necessarily have anything pr prepared but i just thought that was a uh <laughs> i thought that tennessee story 
was, uh, you know, was I just, you know, I had to, I, I had to uh, make a few comments on that because that's crazy, you know. Um, just like you, Psalm seventeen, where it says, I mean, the Lord, the Lord uses, He uses Esau, all right, as his, as his whipping stick, man. Psalms chapter 17 and verse 13, and it reads, Arise, O Lord, all right, Yahweh, and disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, okay, which is thy sword. So the wicked, all right, once again, starting with the ones who control policy throughout this earth, all right, the, the top banking families, that's who it starts with, all right, Amalek. It says, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So the Lord is fixing to draw out his sword and come after you, man. Okay. All right, and I know it doesn't look like it right now because you can go out, you can buy, you can sell, you can eat, you can drink. You know, you can celebrate, you can be wicked as fuck. But there's coming a time where all that's going to go out in the window. Let me get um where the Lord talked about. Um. A kingdom divided against itself because America is just divided. I mean, you got to, and again, it's along political lines. All right, it's political ideologies like this Republican versus Democrat stuff, which y'all people have figured out that that's all a game, that's all a sham. They, 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 they all work for the same people. Okay, Mark chapter three. Mark chapter three. You got half the country wanting, for example, gun control. You got the other half of the country that's saying, you know, no, we have a Second Amendment right. We need to keep and bear arms. So you got half the country, you know, again, wanting wanting disarmament. And the other half saying, hell no, you ain't coming after my shit, right? You got half the country in favor of abortion, you know, putting your babies into that. That's, that's wicked as hell, man. You know, there's so much blood spilled in this con on this on this land. You know, the, the Lord's coming back to deal with all of it. But then you got the other half of the country that doesn't want you to have the legal right to kill your child. You know, so it's just it's a mess, man. And and and, and uh, uh, there is there's not going to be a fix for it. OK, um, Mark, chapter three and verse twenty three. And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? Right. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Right. So this is a house divided. All right. It says, and if a house be divided against itself, verse 25, that house cannot stand. All right. So it's just a matter of time before this whole thing goes up. And what's going to be the catalyst, you know, speaking as a man is is, is this economic situation. You know, that's what's really going to set it off. You know, when you when you can't access when you can't. Just go willy nilly to the ATM and draw out your money or you can't access it. That's what's really going to set all this off. All right. And it's going to be chaotic. We say the same thing over and over and over again. But, you know, we were also where we were. We were called to, to warn and sound the alarm. OK. And the elect lambs are going to take heed and they're going to, you know, and you're going to flee into that strong tower, which is the name of the Lord. Proverbs 18 and 10 tells you that. All right, let's get a uh, let's go to Matthew chapter twenty four. It's the book of Matthew chapter twenty four and verse six. Okay, and it reads, "And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars." That's all you hear about in the news. Okay, it says, "See that ye be not troubled." Right. You're not supposed to be troubled by this. These are things that have to come to pass for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. OK, it says for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There goes your race war right there. Nationality against nationality. And there shall be famines, <clears throat> famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And that's all you're hearing about in the news lately, too. Uh, another scamdemic and all. But the real pestilence is coming to this place. All right. Um, earthquakes throughout the earth in various places, right? Diverse places, famines, okay? All these, verse eight, are the beginning of sorrows, right? So we're in the beginning of sorrows. That's where we are on a prophetic timeline. 
what Yahweh shall refer to as the beginning of sorrows, going into um, great tribulation, all right, aka the time of Jacob's trouble. Um, second Ezra, I'm just kind of going through these quick, okay. Second Ezra, chapter 15, <clears throat> get right to the point in verse. 15 it says for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh and one people shall stand up to fight against another all right <laughs> hey race rights uh class warfare civil war whatever you want to call it it says and one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands it's going to be you literally are going to have people out here sword fighting <laughs> with literal swords you know but it, you know the sword can be you know uh, uh whatever you can get in your hand to come at someone with stones Swords, literal swords, uh, uh, you know, AK 47s, <laughs> grenade launchers, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> um, it says, For there shall be sedition among men, verse 16, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. We just we just heard about Republican lawmakers in Tennessee expelling Democrat. Democratic lawmakers, all right, for protesting, um, for protesting, you know, uh, gun control, you know, they're, they're advocating for gun control, it's like you, okay, so uh, pretty soon, all right, these people aren't going to be listening to their lawmakers, they're not going to be listening to their, you know, governors or their, um, <clears throat> their uh, police chiefs or their mayors or their, you know, a city council, that, that, all that's going to be out the damn window. All of it. The, 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 uh, the rule of law. All right. <clears throat> Nobody's going to be regarding it in the very near future. It's going to be every man for himself, complete and utter chaos out in these streets. All right. And if you can't see it, it's just because the Lord hadn't anointed your eyes. With that eye salve from on high, you know, hey, uh, hey, it's, it's coming. So, you know, you got to get ready. You got to, you know, you got to be, you know, spiritually, you got to be, uh, uh, you got to be grounded. You know, you got to be, uh, uh <clears throat> you got to be staying alert, <clears throat> you know, keeping on top of these things that, that, the, uh, <clears throat> that are coming out in the news and not everything's true. All right. They, they run in a lot of psyops and they put out a lot of propaganda OK, but but what is true is what these scriptures say about the condition of the earth in the last days. One of the things that's going to be happening is uh, um, racial conflict, race war. All right. Let me get one more. Let me get one more and I'll wrap it up. Staying in a uh, second. Ezra. Going to the 13th chapter now. I mean, people who were who were best friends with one another are going to be at each other's necks, man. Because when you don't have any money and you can't eat, okay, you're gonna you you will do anything you can to feed your family, all right. And if that means taking out your friend or your neighbor, that's what that's what you people are getting ready to do. This is Second Ezra thirteen. The Lord said His servants are going to eat in this time. He said He said His men are going to be and His elect are going to be delivered from famine okay and those those are promises the lord's made so you got to rest in them promises too um let's see give me just a minute where well, it talks about realm against realm I might have to type it in. Let's see. One, one realm against the. Here we go. I know it's second Ezra 13, but okay, here we go. All right, Salakia. So like Get right to the point. Second Ezra chapter 13, verse 31. And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against against another one realm against another okay so it's gonna be certain cities out here even 
that there's going to be a, there's going to be cities out here that are conservative, so-called conservative. And then there's going to be cities out here that are so-called, you know, liberal and whole cities are going to be fighting one another. Don't they? It, this is this is this is coming from the Bible. This is scriptural, man. See, these are the things that you don't hear on Sunday morning from your Christian pastors. They don't teach you these things. OK, they don't teach you this. They don't they don't tell you about they're not telling you that uh, uh, this place is getting ready to collapse and descend into uh, chaos. OK, and then uh, millions of people are fixing to be put to death. And that not only that, and then that's all the will of the Lord. That's all the will of the Lord, because he's the one who kills and makes alive. So everyone who's put to death, that's the will of the Lord. All right. And that that's that, that's his. See, that's why the Bible says that his ways are not our ways. And his thoughts are not our thoughts. All right. But anyways, you know, I'm not trying to ramble. You get the point. Hey, buckle up because it's getting ready to get real, you know, real crazy out here. You know, you're going to have to have a hedge of protection around you. All right. That's the name of the Lord. Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, Lord willing. He protects us during this time. You know, it keeps his spirit on us. All right. And uh, uh, causes us to endure. All right. With that, I want to say shalom. I'm going to on to the next video.